Hi, I'm Tommy Two String. And I like to play guitar on just one string. And there's something else I like to do. Uh, right today I'm going to be taking part in the Esperanto Lives campaign, if you will, and talking a little bit about uh, the language Esperanto. So the first question is, what is Esperanto? Um, that's a question I get asked a lot. Um, some of you who watch my videos will see that I've done a few in or about Esperanto recently. But um, So Esperanto is a language that was invented uh, in 1887, and it was designed to be an easily learned second language uh, that anybody could learn, and it would be like a, a neutral way that people could talk to each other. Uh, the dream at the time was that people would just rush in and learn that language, and uh, it would solve all sorts of international communication problems. Um, the result now, more than 125 years later, it's the sort of thing that people get into if they're interested in languages, if they're interested in other cultures, um, if they're interested in me meeting people, making friends, that sort of thing. Um, why I learned it, uh, I enjoy telling the story about my first exposure to Esperanto. I certainly have known a little bit about what Esperanto is, you know, even since grade school. Uh, but certainly a lot of people come up to me or hear me speaking Esperanto with my children, this sort of thing, and they'll, they'll, they'll tell me they've never heard of it. Um, certainly I was sort of aware that Esperanto was a thing. It's a little bit about it in uh, Red Dwarf. Um, I remember learning about it in grade school, the unit on languages. Um, but I didn't think that anybody really spoke it. Uh, back in the days of uh, text browsers, uh, I'd actually be curious if anybody knows what uh, a text browser is, so maybe you can leave a comment if you do, um, or if you've ever used one. I, uh, they were very short-lived. But my first exposure to the World Wide Web was with a text browser, and I was reading all sorts of articles. Uh, and I found one that was written in Esperanto, and I imagined this this guy off in a room somewhere, um, just sort of looking everything up on a grammar table, looking everything up in a dictionary, and bam, he's got a little text in Esperanto that nobody's going to read. Um, but uh, when I found out that people really spoke it, I thought, hmm, I wonder what, wonder what this is. And I looked at it, and I wondered why it had so many J's and X's in it. Uh, so I found a little bit about that. Uh, and uh, my wife and I learned it together. Um, this was in 1997. Um, initially, I think one of the things that drew us to it, besides just the idea of having a, a hobby or whatever we could do together, uh, was that we could travel using what's called the Pasporta Servo. Uh, which is something that we did uh, before kids. Uh, so we we went to uh, Europe and we looked up uh, in this address book. We looked up uh, people who would let us sleep on their couch or whatever, uh, on the uh, condition that we speak Esperanto. Um, made a lot of friends that way. People that we still know now, uh, almost 20 years later. Um, so yeah, what else do we do with Esperanto? Uh, we mentioned travel. Um, people who watch my videos know I have some kind of nonsensical musical uh, ideas, uh, and I say they're not limited to uh, things I do in English or on this channel. Um, I certainly do some serious music, uh, but I also do some nonsense. Uh, buffoonery, as we like to call it uh, in the Tommy Two String channel. Um, so there's something called Radio Verda uh, that I was a part of, uh, oh, this is about ten years ago, did quite a few um, bits for this podcast that are uh, sort of musical in nature and have to do with a, um, a singing squirrel that meets a, uh, uh, I'll just call him a heretic, somebody who speaks a, a, a different language, uh, and they first aren't friends, and then eventually they become friends. And Anyway, so just we create different stories. Um, uh, making friends. Um, so the other thing is that my, uh, my wife and kids speak Esperanto, so we're able to uh, travel to different Esperanto events regionally. Um, and get to know people that way. And uh, so, anyway, um, that's Esperanto. And uh, hope if you're interested, you can find out a little bit more and uh, certainly ask any questions. Tommy Chu String out.